So I wanted to talk about a snare that's been getting a lot of use around here lately. This is the first drum that I reach for when I'm doing a singer-songwriter thing, a pop thing, a country thing. I can throw a lot at this, and it's a really versatile sound, and it's one that I always get a lot of compliments on. And that's my 90s 14x5 Ludwig Acrylite. Um, I've made quite a few mods to this drum, the snare strain of the hoops. Like, a lot of this stuff isn't stock, but this is a really popular choice for a lot of people going for, like, that super dead thing. Aaron Sterling has a really chaotic and great video about this on YouTube that you should definitely check out. I'm not a scholar, okay? I'm not a professor. Don't get angry, Aaron. And that's definitely my first inspiration for how I set this drum up. But one area that I think I really differ from him, where he is all about just like kind of getting the drum low, not worrying about intonation, and just kind of taping the fuck out of it. I actually set this up to get a really big sound that sounds good unmuffled, and I actually do use it that way because it sounds really cool with compression and distortion on it. But I get it sounding good wide open first so that when I muffle it down, there's still a lot of tone there and the drum still speaks like a fundamental note really well. I can be kind of psychotic when it comes to tuning drums, but this is one of those cases where I'm not super precious about the note that I'm tuning the heads to. They're usually somewhere between like, I don't know, it can be as low as a G or I'll go all the way up to a B sometimes. Currently today. It's like a sharp A flat, a flat A, I don't know. But yeah, it kind of, it's low. You know, it's almost a fifth lower than I would tune my Protean or a lot of the other snares in my collection. So wide open sounds like this. ton of attitude, a lot of overtones. It's not in control, it's not stable, but it's got like a thing going on. So with that as my starting point, I'll take that, stick a couple of these on there, and again, it instantly singer-songwriter, gushy, um, non-intrusive snare sound. Yeah, so it's pretty easy to see how much you can really throw at this thing. Um, and it takes all of it really well, especially this heavily muffled, super dead thing, which a lot of snares will just choke out and kind of just sound like a pancake. And these are great. You know, they're not super expensive. You can find a lot of these on Reverb for like 150 bucks, um, if not less. Definitely one worth having in your collection if you're a drummer, producer, songwriter, music enjoyer. I don't know. It's a cool thing. Cool, cool thing that sounds cool. I hate that I'm like this. 